All right, so we're back with the bands. We're gonna do a red band shoulder press, okay, overhead shoulder press. So um, just like the previous videos, we are gonna put one foot on there just for a minimum amount of resistance. If you have a green or yellow or a lighter band, you wanna make it a little bit tougher, you'll be stepping on it with both feet right in line with your body. So what I like to do, one foot right on the middle, that back foot is back just as a kickstand, okay, just for balance. I'm not, I'm not putting the pressure back there. I'm just tapping so I know where I'm at. All my weight's on that front foot, okay? So a couple different ways you can do this. I prefer to start with the palms down, okay? I'm gonna pull up into that W position and then trying to keep my elbows underneath my wrists. I'm pressing up nice and tall, right? Keeping that chest up, letting them come down. Again, everybody's gonna be at a different level here. Um, I've come down here for 20 years and it doesn't bother my shoulders. Other people can't come below that without clicking, without irritation in the shoulder. Um, that could be some irritation in the shoulder due to a, a, a malalignment, uh, bad posture, things like that, or years of improperly doing something. But I'm a big believer in there are no bad exercises. There's only bad posture, um, bad habits. Basically, if you can't do something, unless there's been some kind of acute injury, uh, it's basically a, a clue on what you need to work on. So that's just a little side rate. But so shoulder press, I prefer here. Pull up, nice and tall, back down again from the side. So you can see, pulling up in alignment with my body. I'm gonna keep my chest up so my shoulders are in that proper spot. I'm pressing nice and tall, and I'm back down. So I'm here, as I come down, I'm focusing on my shoulder blades coming down. Press up, shoulder blades coming down. So that's one way to do it. The other way, you can step through it and have that band slightly behind you. This doesn't feel natural to me, so I don't do this very often, but if that front way doesn't feel right, you can do it this way. Here, pressing up, back down, up, back down. And yet another way I'll see people do it is instead of having the band to the front, they will step through it, start as a curl up so the bands are behind them, pressing up. And in my opinion, this feels even more unnatural, but I have seen people do this. So you're here, back up. This way I just feel like I'm fighting a lot harder to keep good postural alignment in my shoulders, so I don't always recommend this. I'm usually here, again in front, nice and tall because everything is in alignment with my body. So that is a two-arm shoulder press with the resistance bands.